it, it just takes a hundred thousand dollar hypersonic missile to bring down a billion dollar aircraft carrier. So it doesn't make sense anymore. So clearly you need to have a fundamental strategic reboot uh, in American thinking. Mach 5 plus speeds, $516 million saved, tricked the Chinese military. U.S. multi-billion dollar hypersonic fighter jet is ready for action. The United States, Russia, and China are at it again, as dominance has officially begun. In response to advancements made by China and Russia in hypersonic weapons, the U.S. is now taking its most recent action. This most recent action takes the form of the Gambit missile. This brand new hypersonic weapon is expected to save the United States up to $516 million while flying faster than any hypersonic missile before. The Gambit's engine, which is so potent it could power huge missiles, fighter jets, and Navy ships, enables this. Yes, hypersonic missiles travel much faster than their hazy Mach 5 plus speeds, but only some people are aware of that. So, let's give you some insight into why this hypersonic fighter jet is worth all the hype and what monster jet gave birth to this one. 1. SR-71 and SR-72 Challenges The Blackbird and its son are forced to reckon with the hypersonic term. At top speed, the SR-72 will travel twice as fast as its predecessor, with air entering its engines moving as quickly as an SR-71. Unexpectedly, plans for a replacement for the SR-71, the storied Mach 3 reconnaissance plane, built with slide rules and retired when the millennial generation was born, were revealed by Lockheed Martin's renowned Skunk Works. At 2,100 miles per hour, that 59-year-old aircraft initially designed as an Uber interceptor, still holds the record for the fastest sustained supersonic flight, outpacing 50 caliber bullets by a wide margin. The SR-72, a new aircraft that was just unveiled, will fly twice as fast. At top speed, the air entering its engines will be moving as quickly as an SR-71. Nobody has ever been able to complete the hat trick of going from a standing start to Mach 6 and back again. But that is what the SR-72 is intended to be able to do. To propel the SR-72 to Mach 2.5, Skunk Works reportedly found a way to operate turbojet engines at higher temperatures and power levels. Lockheed Martin claims to have overcome the thrust chasm, which is needed for the ramjet scramjet second stage to operate at speeds greater than Mach 3 or 3.5. However, the company won't reveal how. Not shocking, anyway, it is meant to be top secret until unveiled officially. But over the past 70 years, in both good and bad times, the breathtaking potential of hypersonic flight at Mach 5 and above has propelled research forward, from Nazi wonder weapons to the right stuff and the Pacific pivot. The hypersonic realm captured the imagination of some extraordinary minds, even before any artificial machine reached supersonic speeds. The difference between a ramjet's lowest speed and a turbojet's highest speed has always been a problem for hypersonic propulsion. The majority of ramjets cannot ignite below Mach 4. Mach 2.2 is the maximum speed that turbine engines can typically reach, below the point where a ramjet could take over and continue accelerating. The SR-72 promises to increase the propulsion capabilities of military aircraft significantly. Unsurprisingly, Lockheed Martin is mum on the specifics of the custom turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC engines, that will power the SR-72. However, Skunk Works will fundamentally change the prospects for high-end military aerospace designs if they successfully achieve their staged goal of building a scaled demonstrator capable of Mach 6 flight by 2023. A new global race to develop hypersonic combat aircraft akin to the fifth generation stealth fighter competition between the West, Russia, India and China 
could be sparked if the F-22-sized demonstrator aircraft can maintain level flight at Mach 6 using the new technology. 2. Mayhem Mach 10 New information regarding its top-secret Mayhem hypersonic air vehicle program has been made public by the U.S. Air Force. It was previously believed that this program was concentrated, at least in part, on acquiring test beds to facilitate work on advanced high-speed jet engines, such as the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapons concept, HAWK project, and the Air Force's Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile, HACM initiative. However, this discussion of a larger, more durable system can carry a variety of payloads and uses a more complicated engine configuration only makes one wonder what the design is capable of if it or a subsequent derivative were to enter operational service. Also, noticeably missing from the most recent contracting document is the word expendable. The scramjet engines used in Hawk are an extension of the technology powering mayhem but Hawk scramjets only provide half of the combined cycle recipe required for a platform like Mayhem or the SR-72. No wonder, the speed of Mach 10 is 7,670 miles per hour. It is more than 10 times the speed of sound and more than three times the top speed of a commercial airline. To put things into perspective, as the forces at such high speeds can be extremely harmful to both the vehicle and its occupants, Reaching Mach 10 requires a significant amount of energy and cutting-edge technology. This is all made even more intriguing to think about when one recalls the still incredibly curious public discussion that erupted between 2017 and 2018 about potential future reusable uncrewed hypersonic aircraft. Even further, Lockheed Martin and Boeing released concept art for their national designs, the SR-72 and Valkyrie. 3. Dark Star Mach 10 This weekend, a replica of the fictional Dark Star hypersonic jet that appears in the opening scene of the 2022 movie Top Gun Maverick will be on display. Even though it hasn't been confirmed to be a hypersonic aircraft, the Mach jet looks authentic enough for most onlookers to mistake it for the real thing. This mock-up will now be shown for the first time. This weekend, Southern Californians can get up close and personal with the Lockheed Martin-designed Dark Star that was used in the making of this year's Top Gun sequel at the 2022 Aerospace Valley Open House, Air Show, and STEM Expo. Aviation websites have been buzzing for days about the Dark Star's potential appearance at the Air Show, and Edwards Air Force Base confirmed them. The rumors were accurate, yes. According to an Edwards Air Force Base post, this weekend at the 2022 Aerospace Valley Open House, Air Show, and STEM Expo, the Lockheed Martin Dark Star will make its global debut. It was only fitting that local STEM students got the first look at this futuristic display. The Dark Star will be on static display at AV Air Show the entire weekend. The article continues, the Dark Star appears in the opening sequence of Top Gun Maverick, where Tom Cruise's lead character flies the aircraft at speeds well over Mach 10 before it disintegrates. Years of rumors about Lockheed Martin creating such a hypersonic spy plane have circulated, but they have not been confirmed. Nevertheless, many believed that the inclusion of the made-up Dark Star in the movie was evidence that the long-speculated SR-72 spy plane might exist and that the movie provides a glimpse into the top-secret project. In collaboration with the real engineers from Lockheed Martin's renowned advanced development programs, also known as Skunk Works, the Dark Star mock-up used in the movie was created. The SR-71 Blackbird, the U-2 spy plane, and NASA's brand new X-59 quiet supersonic jet are just a few of the revolutionary and highly classified aircraft and spacecraft that this division has been in charge of designing and engineering over the past eight decades. The Top Gun crew made a sensible decision. After all, the SR-72 Dark Star hypersonic aircraft, which is fictional, is intended to be a successor to the SR-71 which the Skunk Works also created. Both are crewed by high-speed strategic reconnaissance aircraft, 
The SR-72 in the film has a top speed of Mach 10, which is equivalent to 7,672 miles per hour, whereas the SR-71's top speed was Mach 3.3, 2,193 miles per hour. According to Top Gun Maverick producer Jerry Bruckheimer, the Mach Dark Star on display appeared so realistic that it tricked the Chinese military into moving a satellite to get a better look at it. But is the fictional version more accurate than one might think? The real-life uncrewed SR-72, a hypersonic strategic reconnaissance aircraft first announced in 2016, and the SR-72 from the film are depicted in Skunk Works concept art. The aircraft has small cranked aero wings and a long fuselage with blended wings. The visible tail fin prominently displayed the Skunk Works logo. It is important to note that little is known about the exact details surrounding the multi-billion dollar hypersonic fighter jets. It remains a U.S. Air Force secret. However, on paper and timeline, the SR-72 has the edge over the SR-71. So, the SR-72 wants you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.